Welcome to Audio Tree Live. It is Saturday, April 30th, 2016, and we have Pine Grove in the studio. Listeners. This is how I spend my life. Uh
awesome. Uh, guys, thank you so much. You're watching Audio Tree Live, and we have Pine Grove in the studio. Guys, how are you feeling? Great. Great? Very good. Good. Awesome. You guys, um, it's an honor to have you guys here in the studio. So we're just going to chit-chat a little bit before you go into your next songs. Um, so I was doing some snooping, because that's part of my job. But I was looking at um, one of your, I think it was a pledge campaign, and I think, Evan, you hand-painted some vinyls for the campaign or just to have for those 100 vinyls. I was just wondering, opening up to everybody, do you have like a favorite pastime or some sort of other art form that you like to do besides constantly creating music and playing music? <laughs> Who wants to go first? Anybody. One, two, three. Four. Well, it's true. I do like to paint, and I, uh, I like to read a lot, too. Read? Mm -hmm. Do you have like a specific type of book? Um, or style yeah, fiction, of fiction, usually contemporary fiction. Oh, cool. What are you reading right now? Uh, kind of nothing because <laughs> too tired. Kind of hard on oh, tour. Are you touring I, I or have, something? Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Right. I have ten oh four by Ben Lerner in my backpack um, oh, that okay. I've been poking around at. Uh, I, I read it before and liked it a lot, so I figured I'd bring like a comfort read with me. Can you read in the car? No, I can't. I get okay. nauseous. Yeah. Can anybody read in the car? I so love reading in the car. Really? Yeah. Uh, why don't you tell them a little bit about the book you're reading? Uh, I'm reading Manhattan Nocturne. It's a <laughs> pulp novel I bought in Portland for a dollar about Porter Wren, um, this, a Manhattan reporter who stumbles upon this crazy murder mystery. It's really bad. It's really and bad. Violent and entertaining. That's awesome. Is it like a short one or is it like pretty hefty? I so think I read it in like three hours. Three hours. That's a good trip from <laughs> one state to the next maybe. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. We've read a lot of hotel reviews in the car. Uh, that's been a little bit of a new uh, form of literature that we've learned to appreciate. <laughs> Have they been pretty trip. accurate? Or are there some that you're just like, this was so far off? Uh, <laughs> Cockroaches everywhere. Well, right. I mean, I guess it's hard to say because those ones we've uh, tended to avoid. But there are some um, really incredibly enthusiastically written reviews <laughs> um, about spiders and, and children and all, all sorts of things that... Um, <laughs> Don't get nauseous reading those because they're just so funny. They're so good. It's like ad libs, but for hotel reviews. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fill in an extremely crazy word here. Awesome, you guys. Well, whenever you're ready, you can go into your next songs. Okay. This one's called Cadmium. Who's walking with my neck out some ways I wish I was I was walking with my neck out some ways that I wish that I was Out on the bevel the sound, it sounds like everything else You'll know it when you hear it Cause you know the way my voice felt Ignore my tone and everything I sing, I sing for me Ignore the phone on your bed It rings, it rings, it rings Shirt collar ringing me out of my collarbone Got all red and already severed In prose I wrote, I sing instead I hold you, put your neck out Tell me the ways you wish you were
Absolutely killer job. Um, if you're just joining us, this is Audio Tree Live, and we have Pine Grove in the studio. You guys, their sound is absolutely incredible. Um, so a little bit more chit-chat up in here. I just wanted to talk a little bit about, Evan, I guess this goes back to you. I know you're multitasking. Uh, we're going to give it a shot. Um, so your vocabulary is so eclectic. Not just lyrically, but your interviews that I've read are I'm not gonna lie, I had to Wikipedia or Google some of those words and then reread them. So now it kind of makes a little bit of sense. You like to read a lot. Did you just grow up having a love for words or did you have a spelling bee that really, really wrong and you're trying to oh, get yeah. back from it? I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, gosh, I mean, it's... 
First of all, I am a bad speller. Oh, okay. Um, Didn't mean to bring that up, but yeah, I went there. It's okay. And also, <laughs> I I think that maybe I don't know it, uh, some intellectual investigation has to do with intellectual insecurity also. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I've I've always been interested in words and the way they sound and um, uh, the way the, the rhythms of them and, mm -hmm. and the, the melodies of the way people speak. Um, I think that a lot of my melodies are inspired by conversational uh, inflections. Okay. And uh, so, you know, if they, if they feel conversational, that's that's probably why. But uh, yeah, I, I yes, I like words. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just <laughs> it was really interesting. So, I guess could it also happen to be maybe a way somebody says a word? It could be the same word, but maybe hearing it a different way or how someone says it. Does that change how you may take it on? Oh, certainly. I mean, it's uh, it matters way more how you say it than than what you say. Cool. That's awesome. Cool. Well, whenever you guys are ready, keep getting groovy. Multitasking was not in the requirement to come do a session, so yeah, <laughs> that's okay. When you plan your set out, do you try and keep it so you don't minimal tuning? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's exactly the puzzle. That makes sense. Tetris, kind of like loading your van. <laughs> don't get us started on that. <laughs> I know. That van, that van was very impressive. Well, you guys are sounding killer. You guys have another show tonight at Lincoln Hall, right? Yeah. Great. Well, hopefully you have to get your ticket first, right? It's sold out. So maybe people will go in and have something good to trade. But yeah, whenever you guys are ready, go for it. That was fun playing there last night. It sounded awesome on stage, I thought. Uh, stoked to do it again. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we have like one or two guest list spots left. Ooh. I don't know. Send us a message. That was out. That's out to the world now. So stay your case. With that one. <laughs> yeah, resume, please. <laughs> Accepting applications. Headshots. <laughs> Three by fours. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Hand over hand. I'm pulling myself together on this itchy couch again. I'd pull you in, but I couldn't help thinking what my mouth was talking. 
Awesome. You are watching Audio Tree Live with Pine Grove in the studio. So I, this actually works out well. You guys totally like plan this ahead. Speaking of venues, um, you guys are going to be coming back here for Lollapalooza, correct? Yeah. Yes. So I guess that's obviously a huge difference of a stage. Did you guys play many festival stages before? Or is this first one? Pretty much zero, I think, right? Yeah. Hero. I mean, like festival size stages, definitely not. We... Uh, to do South by Southwest this year, and oh, it was okay. uh, very loopy. <laughs> um, we also played Could be Tree the Fort. It was oh, okay. more mellow. Loopy in its own way. Yeah. Um, yeah, but besides that, no, uh, no, like, you know, football field size. Stages. Downtown Chicago yeah. size. Mm -hmm. Grass field. Yeah. yeah. Right. So is it something that you're really anxious or looking forward to, or do you prefer like the smaller music venue basement show kind of vibe, or is there just, it's just gonna be a whole new thing and see how it goes? Um, I have to admit, I haven't thought about it at all. Uh, okay. You know, <laughs> it, like our, our concerns, at least mine, mine uh, have recently just been like, am I hydrated? Um, am I hungry? Mm. 
survival basics. Yeah, I think we're kind of just trying to, trying to finish, finish up this. this tour before we think about the next. We've, yeah, um, been gone since since March 9th. Yeah. I don't know how many weeks that is, but I think like seven or eight or something like lot. that. Wow. Uh, only two more shows tonight and tomorrow, and then the tour's done. So it's been a long, long time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We definitely have lost the ability long ago to think about <laughs> anything other than tonight's show. As I'm throwing you like 9,000 <laughs> questions about yeah. Yeah, words well, in life. And I mean, we're definitely super excited, but like, I, I'm right, sure right. I will get super nervous and anxious as right. it gets closer. But um, for now, yeah, we're yeah. Just, just thinking about finishing this thing up. Yeah, but what, I mean, definitely an awesome opportunity for you guys. I can't wait for you guys to come back. Yeah, it's going to be great. But do you guys get to go home first now after this tour? Please mm-hmm. say you get to go home, your own beds, family, food. Good. Yeah, for a little bit. <laughs> for a little bit. We're gonna and then you go right back out. Yeah, because yeah. you guys are on tour all summer, right? Yeah. Yep. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. So many opportunities to see you guys. Well, thank you guys. You're more than welcome to go into your last two songs. Cool. All right. Giant hand moves.
one last uh, tuning section here. Yeah. It's all good. Well, you can also support this band by uh, downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks. Um, you also have stuff on Bandcamp. Uh, I'm assuming every other digital outlet that you can get it. And you have cassettes. That's awesome. Yep. Cassettes.bandcamp.com. Yep. Perfect. You heard it right All there. All formats. Every every format, and also now live, which is awesome. Or if you're coming tonight, you can see him. So yeah, whenever you guys are ready, take it away.
You've been watching Audio Tree Live with Pine Grove. Once again, thank you guys for being here today. I want to thank all of the crew that's also in the room, everybody in our studios, our sound engineers, once again, the band, and you viewers. So have a kick-ass day, everybody. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks.